Well, hi everybody, Gaijin Giddy Pig here. Welcome back to the, I don't know, America Jin ga Nihongo Yomono ni Kurosuru video series. Wow, that's a mouthful. The American Struggling to Read Japanese series, episode two. Uh, maybe I'll just call it the Struggle series. Who knows? Yeah, like I said, this is episode two. We're back at the bookstore. Uh, thank you for your comments on the first video.、Um, turns out, I had some nice comments from Japanese viewers that said this was actually helpful for them. For me to read it and sort of translate it and give them a better idea of how you would translate some of these expressions. But that wasn't my goal, it was just a happy coincidence. So I'm glad, I'm glad it helps other people as well. For now, I've decided to do maybe two of these videos a week. I'm not sure when the uploads will be. I think it's going to be based on when I have actual time to do it. And yes, some of these books may be really simple to start, but it's a good place to start this journey because I'm going to work my way through the list and try and、uh, translate for my own purpose、uh, and my own learning journey as much as I can. In a way that you know makes sense in a normal conversation. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of beneficial、uh, aspects to this. And yes, we will work our way into the harder books. So today's first book is called Hi. And no, we don't need a translation, Google. Thank you. All right. Akai. Meaning red. 赤いトマトジュース飲みます。I'm drinking red tomato juice. Yeah. That doesn't look like tomato juice to me. That looks like he's having tea, but you know. 赤いいちごのショートケーキ食べます。I'm eating red strawberry cheesecake. 赤いいちごのショートケーキ食べます。So they're eating shortcake. It's a red strawberry shortcake. I'm eating a red strawberry shortcake. Okay. It's an interesting way to put it. I don't know that in English we would say a red strawberry shortcake. Maybe it's more a shortcake with a red strawberry. I'm eating shortcake with a red strawberry. That's it. It's an interesting sentence. Akai momiji sampo simas. So, momiji is maple leaves. So, you have red maple leaves, sampo shimas. Sampo is like walking, but more leisurely, like just strolling. There's these, as you can see, these three guys are strolling, taking a little walk, looking at the red maple leaves, which, you know, the timing is pretty accurate. We are moving into fall.、Uh, the colors of the leaves have not changed quite yet, but we're getting there. So, yes, the literal translation is red maple leaves walking. But you would say probably、uh, taking a walk and looking at the red maple leaves. So, tori is that red gate behind those two tourists, and、uh, they're taking photos. Shashi no torimas, taking a photo. So, taking a photo of the red gate. 赤い夕焼け、二人で話します。So, 夕焼け I believe is sunset, which makes sense given the image. So, the red sunset, 二人で話します。Uh, the two of us are talking. So, the two of us are talking during the red, the red sunset. 赤いバラ買います。Bara is a rose, so I'm buying a red rose, or I'm buying red roses. It looks like there's more than one. Akai kuchi beni kesho shimas. So, kuchi beni is lipstick, red lipstick.、Uh, kesho shimas is like applying makeup. So, I'm applying red lipstick. 
Hi, Shingo Machimas. Shingo meaning stoplight. Machimas to wait. So waiting on the red stoplight. Oh, look at that. He's got his red rose. He's about to meet his girl. Akai wine. Kampashimas. So red wine. Notice we dropped the E. It's not Akai wine. It's Aka wine. Red wine. Kampashimas. Clink. Kampai. Cheers. Akai ito. Akai ito ga arimashita. Interesting. Ito is like a thread. So, akai ito ga arimashita. So, are they saying they're tied together by a red thread? I think that, yeah. Can you see the red thread? In the picture here between their two fingers. So, akai ito ga arimashita. It's literally, there's a red thread. I don't quite understand it in the context of this picture, if it's symbolic or if they're just running out of uses for red. Oh, anata no akai ito wa tare to? Oh, so your red thread. Who is your red thread tied to? Interesting. I'm not sure about the symbolism of the red thread. Maybe it's just the person that you care about. I don't know. Your red thread is tied to who? To whom? The end. Okay, I didn't see that ending coming. That was quite dramatic. Akai. So I might have to look into the whole red thread thing. I don't know if it's a Japanese sort of cultural thing. Oh, I guess if I, I just Googled this and it says the red thread of fate, also referred to as the red thread of marriage, is an East Asian belief originating from Chinese mythology. I see. This is why I haven't heard of it. So essentially, destined lovers the person you're destined to be with that is the symbolism of the red thread i wasn't aware of that but interesting so we're not just learning how to read properly we are learning cultural aspects as well i knew there would be value in this people all right so now let's move on to book number two shall we all right junkin Oh, I know what Junkin is. Junkin is uh, rock, paper, scissors. That, that classic game that both kids and adults can enjoy. Junkin, po. Okay, Junkin. Ah, cake ga futatsu, demo, sanin. So, ah, oh, there's two cakes, but. There's three of us. Junkin sho, sai sho agu, ah sai sho agu. So this is sort of like the rock, scissor, paper, uh, song. I guess you could say before the, the hands reveal rock, paper, or scissors. Junkin pon, and when you say pon, that's when you do the reveal. Pa to, pa to, toki. Pa being for paper, pa for paper, there's two obviously. Toki, scissors. Oh, choki no kachi, yatta! Saying, scissors wins, yay! And they look very upset about it. Kiki ga itotsu, demo, hari. We're down to one cake, but there's two people. Junkin so, sai so gu, sai so wa gu. Sorry, I always I always forget that wa part. That sai so wa gu. Junkin pon. Choki to choki. Oh, 
we've got to draw scissors and scissors. Even the cat is like, hey, is anybody going to eat that? I go the show, which is like one more time. Pa to pa, paper and paper. The cat definitely has noticed the cake at this point. I go the show, one more time. Now we have gu being rock, to choki, scissors. And now the cat is going to ruin everything and touch the cake. Gu no kachi yatta, rock wins, yay! Uh oh. This cat is already eating that cake, I bet. Ah, uh, keiki ga. Like, ah, uh, the cake. Yeah, he got a head start. You guys weren't paying attention. Uh, so the nice girl said, let's eat this together. And they're saying, thank you. Yasashi. How nice. Oh, and some instructions here. Okay, Ishi, which is really the rock is symbolized in the game by Gu. I'm not, again, I'm learning this language, so I'm not exactly sure why the meaning changes from Ishi to Gu, and Hasami is actually the word for scissors, but Choki in this game of rock, rock, paper, scissors, and then Kami is a piece of paper, but it's changed to Pa in the game. Not exactly sure why. Uh, maybe somebody can explain that watching this but uh yes the word the words do change just not the meaning oh thank you tadoku books so there you have it book number two for today's episode episode number two book number two today we read akai and janken i wouldn't say that akai was a complicated read or anything but uh, I found translating what it was trying to say a little bit complicated. It was as if they weren't natural sentences. It was just pointing out things that were read. And sometimes it could be difficult to translate just pointing something out as opposed to a naturally flowing sentence. And of course, I wasn't really familiar with the, the red string of fate type of thing. I mean, now that I say it out loud, it sounds like something I've heard before, but uh, that was kind of interesting, actually. And Janken, of course, a game that I think most people around the world are familiar with, although this is what they call it in Japanese. Okay, episode two of me learning to read kanji and I guess just Japanese in general, done and dusted. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you have any advice, uh, any cultural bits for these stories that you'd like to share of course i would love to hear from you but as always thank you so much for helping my small channel grow thank you for watching this video and i will catch you in the next one